Hi everybody and welcome to the captain's speech of 2017 here from the Andertons Video Studios to celebrate Christmas with you. I hope you've had a fantastic day so far uh, and I just thought I'd take the opportunity to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching all the videos that we've made over the last uh, 12 months and perhaps pick out some of my video highlights. Well, I think it's fair to say this has been an Annus Marvelosos Fantastamusilus or whatever it would be in Latin to say we've had a brilliant year. And that's largely thanks to the amazing people that I get to work with uh, here in the video team and in Anderton's Music Company. They are a wonderful crew, and uh, at this point I'd love to say uh, my heartfelt thanks to all of them and a Merry Christmas to them and all their families. So let's have a look back over the last 12 months and uh, pick out some of the video highlights that I think they've been. I guess my first one, and I've got a bit of cotton hanging in front of my face, so here we go. Right, I guess the first one would have to be going to the NAMM show in California uh, back in January 2017 and getting an impromptu interview with Paul Gilbert, uh, Steve Lukather, John Petrucci and Steve Morse whilst uh, being on the Ernie Ball stand. If you've not seen that video, here's a little clip now, but it's brilliant fun. Always something dirty from you, Steve. <laughs> but we expect no, no I, less. I clean, I'm very clean. Like a clean, a, he's a clean old man. I'm a clean old man. Like from Hard Day's Night. Yes, exactly. Very clean. At the same show, as if that interview wasn't enough, I was also lucky enough to get to meet Paul Reed Smith, spend a little bit of time with him, and was given this rather sensational uh, PRS 594. So that absolutely uh, was another highlight for me of that show. Um, I think the next bit of fun that we had or well, certainly the one that, that made me laugh was uh, we decided that we would do something uh, on April 1st um, just for fun. And I came up with this idea uh, with a, a, a friend of mine uh, who works at Wampler. Um, the two of us concocted this idea for making a pedal that didn't do anything, uh, but shooting a video that suggested perhaps it did. And so we came up with this idea of the psychosomatic drive uh, shot a brilliant video with uh, lots of the usual presenters from Andertons who gave up their time for, for free to do this, Paul Gilbert as well. Uh, and then we donated all the, we actually made these pedals, Wampler made these pedals and uh, we sold them and we donated all the proceeds of this to the Teenage Cancer Trust earlier this year. And I, I forget what we donated, but it was two or 3,000 pounds, I think, to the Teenage Cancer Trust. Brilliant video, very funny. People still watch it now and don't realize it's an April Fool's video. Here's a little clip of that video. Um, it was a ton of fun to make. Thanks again for all of you who bought one of these. It's a great gesture. So it's a really simple pedal to use. It's, it's uh, mains powered. He's given you two controls on here. Um, obviously you switch it on like this and then this is something and this is else and obviously if you use the two together you get something else. Um, That's absolutely genius. I guess another highlight for me of this year would have been that I finally finally decided to ask Danish Pete to try and teach me a few bits and bobs. Um, I, so I started some lessons with Pete, we shot four or five videos uh, and he really, really helped me kind of break out that sort of uh, rut that I'd been in for the last probably 20 years. Um, just goes to show, I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. Um, and for any of you out there who are perhaps similar to me, you know, midlife crisis kind of age, uh, playing the same old stuff over and over and over again, do have a look at some of those lessons, take some time, practice, uh, a break out of that box, but they're great lessons. Pete wrote some great backing tracks to go with the, the lessons to help you kind of do that stuff. So anyway, here's a little clip of probably us mucking around, having some fun in those. I do remember, in fact, let's try and find this clip, but I do remember Pete coming up 
uh, with something at the end of a video called Inappropriate Scats, which kept us all in stitches. But great, great, great time. So thanks to Pete and, he, and Ariel as well, who, who took over one of the lessons as well. Really cool, really enjoyed that. <laughs> Another video that um, I was really, really pleased we did uh, in the year and was probably largely advised not to do this, but I felt it was important to do it. Uh, we took a bit of a stand against all the trolling that was going on, on in the comments section on our videos. Um, not just trolling against presenters, but trolling against different people who were, who were posting stuff there. And, I, and it, I just thought it was all really not in the spirit of being a musician. Um, and so I made a video called um, something like trolls aren't real musicians, they're just dicks or whatever. And that spawned, that phrase spawned a t-shirt. Um, and again, we gave all the money from selling those t-shirts to uh, an anti-bullying charity. So we, we raised a few hundred pounds for them. Um, but I guess from my point of view, the most positive impact that that video had was that actually our comments section uh, after that video became a much nicer place to be. Um, hopefully you guys have noticed that as well. So thank you very much for everybody who's tried a little bit harder to be nice and supportive in the comments section on our videos. Um, that was a fun video to make as well. Here's a little clip of that just for fun. My dog Ruby was in that too, for, so dog fans, check her out. Hey guys, it's the captain here from Anderton's TV and I'm here today to talk about how we're going to try and make the comments section on our YouTube channel a little bit safer for people to go and share their opinions on. I suppose it's kind of, it's really tough when, you know, for someone like me, I'm, I'm blessed really that I get to work in a, in a business where um, it does provide a good living for, for me and my family uh, and I get to, to meet some amazing people um, and, and basically shoot some fantastic videos and really enjoy coming to work. Um, who'd have thought, you know, three or four years ago that I'd be interviewing, you know, guitar heroes like John Petrucci and Eric Gales and Paul Gilbert and Greg Koch and a ton of other people that I've got to interview this year. Um, and there's more of that to come next year as well. So again, those would absolutely be a video highlight. I don't know which one your favorite was. I think in terms of views, the biggest one was the John Petrucci one. So we might as well play a little clip of that. It's quite funny at the end. I know both of us were busting for the toilet. So there's quite an amusing clip at the end of that where we're quite glad to finish the video. Back to right. I've got to go to the bathroom. Sorry, oh, John. Too, it's, like, it's like the most <laughs> awkward part of the interview. <laughs> That's right. Let's just do that first. I, had, then, I got the same feeling. I was kind of sitting there thinking, can I do this yeah. till the end of the interview? And then I'm thinking, no, I can't do it. So no worries. Go first? I, no, you go. Okay. I, mean, I, I was having the same thought. I was like, this is going to be the last thing because I got to pee like a racehorse. <laughs> but yes, if you've not seen any of those, uh, check out the Captain Meat series of videos. They're great fun. So that's really it. That has been my 2017. Um, you know, I, I've timed this to go up on Christmas Day intentionally to clash with the Queen's speech. I love the Queen. Um, I love the royal family. Congratulations to Harry and Meghan. I hope you have a wonderful wedding next year. Um, but it's not everybody's cup of tea, so I thought I'd do my own one just to provide a bit of light frivolity. Um, so there you are. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. Um, most important for me at Christmas is to be spending time with family. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, but thank you again. Thank you to all the amazing people I get to work with. Thank you to the amazing, amazing people who watch our videos. There are literally millions of you. Um, and the fact that you take the time to watch our videos and maybe buy one or two bits from Andertons over the year means that I get to carry on doing this with all the amazing people that I work with. So happy Christmas, have a brilliant new year. Uh, thanks again, and we shall see you, I suspect tomorrow in YouTube land as that's how it works now. There's videos going up every day. Anyway, bye-bye, happy Christmas, lots of love from me and all the team at Andertons Music Company.